What you're looking at here are a pair of Work America engineer boots with steel toe. They uh, also go under the name uh, Wellington, Work America men's 11-inch steel toe. Wellington is also a non-steel toe version. They're made by the B.A. Mason Shoe Company, located in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. So they've been around for over uh, 100 years. Um, and at some point in the 80s, they became a direct-to-consumer seller catalog, and I guess the lower the cost of the consumer. And at some point, they started manufacturing in China. So this here uh, Work America engineer, engineer boot was, uh, it used to be made in here in the United States, but now it, it's... Uh, Made in China, but with the uh, American company overseeing production. Taking a closer look here, um, not sure what's uh, in the insole. I'm not sure if there's any uh, cork or I don't know. It's definitely uh, it's a welted. It's got a sole seems uh, pretty good. Uh, leather is definitely full grain, so it's uh, it's it's, it's, a, it's a heavy boot. You know, it's an engineer boot, so it you'll, it feels heavy. Each boot weighs about two pounds. Or close. And uh, I'm not sure it has a leather heel stack. It looks like some other material. Um, some kind of leather composite material or wood or something. I don't know what it is. But it looks durable. So, yeah, they seem uh, pretty durable. And got the steel toe for kicking ass. Or just uh, motorbike riding or work. Uh, steel toe engineer boots seem to be getting scarce. Yeah, you know, steel toe seemed like a natural upgrade to the engineer boot from the, you know, I like the vintage ones from the 40s, you know, like the new ones made in Japan, but steel toe is getting scarce in engineer boots. So I'd like to see a good quality uh, steel toe engineer boot come out. I got more coming, more boots coming. We'll see. So the fit on these is pretty good. They're, uh, I, I lucked out with the fit. I got 11 and a half D. They, uh, you know, they clamp on my feet, you know. Way an engineer boot's supposed to. No heel slippage on these. So if you don't mind, like, uh, you know, you know, a tank look, this is a good engineer boot. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to dye the, the heel all black. I'm going to black it out. I think it'll look better all black. So we'll see about that. So not bad for the money. You know, they, they usually go on sale. You know, don't like it. these were about 138 altogether. You can find them on shoemall.com. B.A. Mason Shoe Company seems to be behind Shoe Mall. And maybe they could bring production back to the United States, at least in a few of their uh, styles, like this one, Engineer. A few other work boots would be nice. I think that would be a good move for them. They can make some upgrades, use different leathers maybe. That would be nice. But still a good deal for now. Thanks for watching.